Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more Am I Wrong stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My husband was in a car accident last week. He was staying at the hospital for his broken leg. Only me and his mum were there. His mum and I don't get along at all. He tells me I'm overreacting or paranoid whenever I point out she's mistreating me. He complained about hospital food saying it had no taste and asked me to make his favourite meal which is steak and bring it to him at the hospital. Noting that steak isn't cheap where we live and I didn't have enough time to prepare it, I told him I will see what I can do and then his mum said if I'm truly a supportive wife then I'd make it happen. Okay. Out of everything he asked for, he asked for steak. <laughs> I just feel like cooking steak at home and then bringing that to the hospital, it's already gonna be like cold and it's not gonna be tasty anymore. Okay, fine. Maybe I'm just being a bit biased because he didn't stick up for her when his mum was being a pain. <laughs> Honestly, from that one line already, we can already know the mum is the problem. If you're a supportive, you're a supportive wife, then you would you make, make it happen. It happen. What, what, you don't, what, want, you to don't want to cook my cook son's steak? Dude, anyone would be annoyed, man. Like, even if you were gonna cook it and then you hear that comment, all of a sudden you just don't want to do it anymore. Okay. Once we went outside his room, his mum's tone changed. She suddenly seemed nice and said that she could see how exhausted I was and so I should go home and not worry about the steak dish because she said she should make it for him. I asked if she was 100% sure and she said absolutely. The next visit, I showed up and my husband asked why I didn't bring the steak dish he asked for. I saw his mum there. I told him his mum offered to make it for him instead and told me not to worry about it. He didn't believe it and was like, mum said that? I'm not buying it. Mum, you really said that? Her reaction shocked me. She acted confused and said that I'm his wife and she didn't know why I'd expect her to perform my duties for me. What drama am I watching? This is one of those scenes, those misunderstanding scenes and then you could see like the evil mother just be like. I was confused and didn't know what to do. My husband seemed upset the entire visit and I waited till his mum left to talk. I swore to him his mum said she'd take care of it but he said he didn't believe me. I pulled my phone out, called his mum and put her on speaker so he could hear the conversation. I said, didn't you say you'd make the steak dish and that I didn't have to worry about it? She replied, I did, but I obviously wasn't actually going to do it. I was just trying to help my son see how his wife is during the rough times and you took the bait. <gasps> My husband raised his eyebrows. He got pissed he called her later and picked a fight and then said no more visiting. She lost it, called me petty and manipulative and blasted me on Facebook saying I stopped her from seeing her son only because I couldn't get her to do things for me like cooking for my own husband. Now his family are criticizing me for this. <laughs> okay, criticize all you want. She's not wrong. Why is she wrong? What the heck? She didn't do anything wrong. What is with the mom? Like the mom is just creating drama herself and then she's gonna get mad when she's involved in the drama. You started it. <laughs> Imagine getting married and this is your mother-in-law though. Like she's literally popped out of a drama just trying to ruin your relationship with your spouse. Like this ain't no K-drama girl. This is real life. Stop it. Like, okay, if it was like a K-drama, then you should have left like an envelope of money. You should have gave her like a million dollars and tell her to leave my son. All right. Okay, I will. <laughs> Anyways, his whole family seems like a freaking pain to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like the husband in this, honestly. <laughs> Who cares about your steak, dude? <laughs> okay, you asked for a steak meal, but she was like, okay, I'll see what I can do. If she doesn't bring it, you can't ask her, where's the steak meal that I asked for? Like, she literally says she'll try her best. That means she might not have it for you, and you just have to stick with, like, hospital food. Okay, next story. My husband doesn't know how to cook. He's also not a fan of the food I cook from my country of origins. Seeing him living off fast food motivated me to learn to cook his family's common meals. It took me a while to get it done properly, but now I can cook an entire list of his favorite meals. He praises my cooking and encourages me to learn more. 
Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen here? This sounds so sweet. While we were eating at his parents' house, I had to excuse myself to go wash my hands after I was done. I left the table and my husband was still eating. As I was making my way back, I heard his dad tell him to take it easy because he was eating a lot. He then asked my husband if I cook for him and if he eats well at home. My husband said that I do cook for him, but the food I make can only be fed to pigs, not humans. I was hurt and so offended. I showed up in front of him and told him I will no longer be cooking for him after this comment. He was turning in his seat as I walked right past him, took my purse and said I was headed home. He got back later saying it wasn't like that and that even if it was, then I should be happy he still eats my food when it's still not perfect yet. He said he was trying to protect my feelings and I hurt him when I said I won't cook anymore. He should have never made that comment anyways. Even if the food is horrible, you don't, you don't tell someone else that the food that your wife makes can only be eaten by pigs. Like, that's so freaking rude. Considering all that she's doing for him and, you know, trying to make his favorite meals. And this is the kind of comment that he says. Does he not know what a freaking white lie is? You can lie about it to your parents, okay? And if you really didn't like the meal, you could have told her, like, you know, give her some like constructive criticism, okay? Like when I cook for someone, I want them to tell me like, if it's like too salty, too bland, you know? What do you think? Right? Because I don't want to be cooking like the same, like, yucky thing every single time. I like making the same thing and improving on it every single time I make something. Like that's why your grandma's food always tastes so good because she has so much experience in cooking that one dish. I just feel like if he really didn't like it, then he should have just like told her. But not that kind of comment. Like tell her what the problem you think is. Like he praises her cooking. So that makes her think what she's doing is right. And she's just gonna continue making the same meal. And then he's gonna go to his family and say that her food tastes bad. When he's been praising her all along, like that betrayal, because if someone tells you, especially your husband telling you that he loves your food so much, so you're gonna be so happy cooking it for him every single day, and you think he actually likes your food. And then he's gonna tell his family that it tastes like only food that pigs can eat. Come on, like you just betrayed her like that. You told her her food was good. <sighs> Cannot believe it. It honestly just makes me a lot more pissed is because he doesn't know how to cook. And he's saying that, you know? Doesn't know how to cook, but he's gonna say her food tastes bad when he can't even cook himself. Like if it tastes that bad, then you cook, okay? You go cook yourself instant ramen or something. <laughs> You cook. Okay, I work in a tech consulting job. I'm the only woman on the team and my boss told me I was coming off harsh with clients and should be more upbeat and smile more. It felt ick. I right away texted my group chat of coworkers without the management in it, asking has boss man ever told any of you guys to smile more? It was an immediate round of no's and a couple of my coworkers asked if he said that to me and pointed out the double standard. A few of my coworkers joked that some of the clients we have right now don't give them anything to smile about. <laughs> That's hilarious. So then... <laughs> So then I asked if any of them had ever been called harsh and it was again all no's. I told them that the boss had told me to smile more and one of my coworkers sent me a picture of a girl pulling a silly face with a weird pinch smile and bugger eye saying, well what boss man says he gets. I thought that was hilarious and decided to actually do it. Anyway, I started smiling more and more around my boss but also a bit stupidly, just keeping my mouth pinched tensely, gums on display and purposely pulling my chin back towards my neck so I'd get a double chin. <laughs> what, what is she doing? <laughs> Smile more, huh? I never did it in front of actual clients, just my boss and coworkers who were in on the joke, and my boss kept looking uncomfortable when I did it. <laughs> he asked me at a meeting about a week in what the face I was pulling was. I said, uh, what face? He said, that one just a second ago. And my coworker said, what? She was just smiling? What are you getting at her for? Oh, the coworker. 
My boss said it looked like she was pulling a face. And my other coworker pulled out his phone where he had some pictures from a recent happy hour where I was pulling that face to make my coworkers laugh. And he said, dude, what the hell is wrong with you? That's literally her smile. Look at this picture from last Friday. And all of my coworkers backed him up saying that it was just how I smile. <laughs> My boss was looking kind of incredulous, so I clarified that if something makes me spontaneously laugh or grin, it probably looks a little more relaxed, but when I'm just putting on a smile to be polite or pose for a picture, I guess that's how I smile. And I was trying to be polite after he let me know I was coming off harsh in meetings. Anyway, at my next one-on-one -on -one meeting, my boss said I didn't have to change my demeanor that much based on his comments, because honestly, that would look worse in front of clients. I just said, yeah, I guess I've never never really been good at being super peppy without it looking fake and as far as I know that was the end of that but I feel a little bad that I basically gaslit my boss and my co-workers were in on it instead of being direct with him and just saying that he was coming across a bit sexist uh, I don't think they were wrong I think they did well you know like they handled it pretty well honestly you know nothing actually happened and they don't have to smile more anymore it worked out so this was actually a really good one. I'm so glad their co-workers had their backs and everyone was just like supporting her. Oh, that just warms my heart. Like this one is quite wholesome, except for the boss. The co-workers were really wholesome. They had her back. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.